And now let's put down the chopper. Okay, hey, check it out. At least the chopper's here. Let me guess, it's not ready to be driven, is it? <laughs> oh my god, look at all this. Look at this. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Last Day on Earth Survival. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. So, today, as you can see already, probably, I have a lot of new stuff to show you, and I'm also looking to upgrade a bunch of our walls here today. So, I had to expand my base because I created a lot of more storage chests off camera. I've been doing a bunch of grinding whenever I get a chance to, like, go out there and chop some wood. Giggity giggity. Do a couple of farming for the rocks, killing a couple of Zambros. As you can see, I'm over here at level 18 now, very close to 19 as well. So I have unlocked a bunch of stuff over here as well. Not everything, but a lot of stuff. Now, I think what I want to do soon is probably make ourselves the shopper, which apparently will let me travel faster in the map, which should be great, or even the ATV. Now, the problem is I'm not entirely sure if I can make this one and it, it works. I'm not sure if it's implemented in the game just yet. So if I do create this, this is going to be a lot of supplies wasted if the thing is not implemented just yet. So I'm a bit worried about it. But, eh, so be it. I will just farm it again in case it doesn't work. So this requires 15, 20 planks, 25 steel. I think I have all of this already if I'm right. So let's go over to... This is my miscellaneous box over here. So let's see. We have 15 wires exactly. We have the... The screws as well. The boats. Let's see what else we're missing here. We also need the... 25 steel. And 10 tape. I believe we should have the tape as well. Let's see. We have 13. Okay, so that's good. Now we're just missing 25 steel. Which is not going to be here. I have stuff all over the place here. We have 26, so we have everything to unlock the ATV. Now, is the ATV implemented? I'm not sure. And over here we have all the planks in the world for the walls as well. The problem with the walls, though, is they require like 10 planks each to upgrade. And I have a, pl I have a lot of walls, man. I have so many walls right now. So... Before we start creating, let me come over here and get some projects up and running. So let's see, are we done with the food cooking? We are. I have a ton of carrots over here. Great. Um, do I have any sort of raw items that we wanted to start cooking? You can come and hang out over here. So this is my food pile. This is the food for traveling and also inside. And over here we have the raw food, which I'm using to cook. I also unlocked the drying or the, the meat rack. So I think we should be able to make jerky from this over here as well. Oh yeah, I got this when I was out scavenging. I guess you could put that outside for the zombie attack. It's supposed to keep them away from breaking your walls down or whatever. Um, you know, let's just put it down, whatever. I'm not sure even where. Put it right here in the front door. Okay, so if zombies want to get frisky, they'll probably get impaled right over here. Does this hurt? Oh my god, that actually hurts me too. Okay. I'm probably not the best location for it if it's going to hurt me. <laughs> Why would it hurt me, man? Just walk around it, dude. Okay, so that's fine. All the items available. Let's craft it. ATV's been added. Okay, added where? Oh, it's in my backpack. I'm allowed to put an entire ATV in my backpack. Probably, that's that's amazing. So how do you work? Allows to assemble an ATV. What do you, what do you mean assemble it? Don't I already have it? Oh my god. Ho 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 ho! Oh god, okay, so where do you go? Place on stone... Excuse me? What do you mean place on stone floor? What, what the hell is a stone floor? Okay, so that would technically fit. Nine. Okay. Now let's find out if this right here is an upgraded stone floor, which we require rocks and planks for. Luckily, I do have still a bunch of planks. I want to use these for my wall upgrades, to be honest with you, but I guess for now we'll do this, and let me grab a couple of rocks here. I hope this works. If it doesn't work, I'm going to be really upset, because that was a really, really big investment just now. So let's see, I want these nine spots here, right? So let's come over here and do... Do, 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 do... You. Okay, so upgrade that. So you see that? That's literally a wooden floor. I think the next one over would be the stone floor. So in order to put the ATV down, I need stone flooring, which is the next one over. And that requires ten bricks and five steel. Which we are nowhere close to making, because I just used up a bunch of steel to make the ATV. I got five. I have enough for one, and I think I have like a couple of bricks here, but nothing really too major, if I'm right. <laughs> no, that's all I have. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I was hoping that we could have a cool ATV for traveling. I should have just made the chopper. The chopper was a lot smaller of an investment. Can I still make that? I doubt it. Well, I mean, I can. Should we make that one for now? I mean, I have the required items for it. It's not like any five steel for anything else right now. You know what? Let's just make the chopper. 
more than likely it's gonna require some other crazy thing as well. Like, oh, you need to have like a, a, a grass made out of gold or something. So you can build it now. Oh, this requires a plank floor. Okay, that's that's actually not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, okay, and you take up how many spots here? So if I put my bike inside, it will require four. We might be able to do the bike after all. Okay, hold up. So we have one already. So we need... Let's see. Let me do an upgrade again. So we need you upgraded. Uh, more planks. So we need 15 more rocks and 15 planks. Okay, so cancel this out now. And now let's put down the chopper. Okay, hey! Check it out. At least the chopper's here. Let me guess. It's not ready to be driven, is it? <laughs> oh my god! Look at all this! Look at this! Oh my god, I knew I shouldn't have... I, I had a feeling it wasn't going to be this easy. Look at this. Okay, so it requires, like, all the bolts in the world, which I'm out of now. Uh, 20 engine parts, which I think we have, like, four? I haven't even seen this before. Nor that. Nor that. This I could easily come by. Same with that. I have a couple of those. I have one wheel. I have a couple of these here. Alright, so the big tough ones are going to be over here. I have not seen these three at all. These I have seen in my scavenging, and I still need one more wheel. Man! Okay, guys, well, I was hoping to show you guys the bike here today, but apparently we are early part one done. We still need to do the entire thing. Okay, so it's going to be a while. As you can see, this is the stuff over here I have, I have for the bike, so whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put an entire ATV into my box over here. That's great. Alrighty, well, at least now we know what to aim for in the future. So... Is that it? No. Meanwhile, I guess what we could do is probably upgrade some of these walls, which I would like to do that anyway, so... Let's bring you guys over here. Or should I just focus on the flooring first? Because if we're going to make the ATV, I'm going to need the flooring. Ah, nah, I'll just do the walls, whatever. Alright, so let's do some upgrading here. So, you upgrade... Oh, of course, the rocks are now needed. Ah, <laughs> Stupid rocks. Get over here. Okay, so you hang out here. Let me bring you, you. Before we can upgrade the walls, I need to level two floors anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay, so for instance, like over here, you see this wall? That one I should be able to upgrade. Let me try it out. I just want to make sure. There it is. So we do have the plank walls now. But in order to do that, we need everything planked up. Oh, gee, you got to be kidding me. This game is no... This game is merciless when it comes to grinding, is it not? I see what you guys mean about, like, you know, collecting so many resources, and then they, poof, just fly away in, like, a minute or so. Okay, so I guess we have to upgrade these things. We have no choice to do it. So, let's just go ahead. Should we just do the outer ones at the very least? That would make sense, right? Yeah, okay. So, let me just do the outer ones for now. And we'll just do the outer flooring, so then we can put at least the upgraded wall, so the zombies probably don't break it down too easily afterwards. So, uh, no, no, don't, don't work on the chopper. That's impossible right now. So you can be upgraded now. So can you. So can you. Uh, no. Oh, we can't. Oh, we're out of. We're out of timber already. Really? Oh my god. So oh, you don't even understand how long I've been grinding off camera. Like I basically jump on and grind a little bit whenever I get some free time. So I've been doing that off and on, and this is all we were able to upgrade with all the re all the grinding I've done. Three walls, a couple of floors. That's it. Then again, I did use some for the ATV, but yeah. Wow. Okay, guys. So I was hoping we could do a lot of upgrades here today, but apparently it's not having any of that here today. Luckily, we have a lot of rocks. As the problem is now wood. I got to go out there and be Paul Bunyan and chop down some trees again. So you come over here. Um, You're my board box, if I'm right. Okay. So with that done, is there anything else we could build here for now? Sewing table. I think this is needed in order to make the thick fabric, which is needed for the next level of weapon, uh, next level of, I guess, equipment, really. So I guess we need that at some point. We'll need that. I do have the stone cutter's table. I haven't made it just yet, but that requires 20 wood. And steel, which again, we have none because I used them on the chopper and the ATV, thinking that we could build those. Now, the meat dryer would be pretty cool. I do believe I have enough for that. 12 rope. Yeah. You know what? Let's do that one at the very least. I think we're going to need leather, too. But again, we're out of steel now. So let's make the meat dryer at the very least, which requires rope, rocks, and whatever. So that's all we have here now. My rope should be here. Twelve. Oh, perfect. So I'll grab you. What else was it? Five and ten rocks. Okay. So you come over here really quickly. 
And let me grab those rocks again. Now, people have been telling me that I could put walls around, like, my water catchers and even my farm. But in order to do that, they has, there has to be, like, flooring underneath it. So that way people don't steal it. I guess that's what I, I wasn't aware of that. It's kind of weird. So it's got to have flooring underneath for you to put the walls. So I guess that would make kind of sense, but... That's what you guys let me know in the comments. So let's come over here now and do the meat dryer. Crafted. And there you go. So now we have the meat dryer. Um, I guess I'll place you inside because I don't want people stealing my meat out there. I would like to put you in my kitchen area, but uh, how do I, how would I do this? And we'll place the meat rack over here next to our kitchen area. So, boom. Build. Ah, that works. Okay, cool. And now I should be able to put any sort of meat over here to make it into jerky. Ha <laughs> ha! So, you are raw food. There it is. Twelve. And you don't require any wood or anything, right? You just place it in there and it does it over time. It takes ten minutes to do it, but it's fine. Cool. Alrighty. So that's cool. At least we got some couple of things done. At least we now have the foundation for the future, which is the important part here. Stupid chopper. Alright. Now, let's go out here and do some scavenging about. I really wanted to go... I wanted to make the, the chopper so we could go farther out into the map. But unfortunately, it probably won't be happening. So how's my hunger looking right now? Oh, we're actually quite thirsty and starving here. Let me get the... You guys here. So let me do boom, boom. Let me grab two of you right now while we can. I think we might need one more meal as well. I have no more room for you guys over there, so I'll have to make another box for you or something. So, this is fine. We do need to drop off the... The boards here again. So I'm taking this with me, this with me, this is for harvesting. That's our backup weapon because my hammer is about to break, so... We do want to have a backup weapon. And that's about it. We're good, right? Yeah, we're good. So, let's get out there. Let's go out there. Let's not walk into the spike trap again, Falcon. That would be a terrible idea. Alrighty. So let's see if there's any cool events out here for us today. You guys have been telling me that apparently the events trigger based on how much energy you have. Because this is a phone game. They want to make money off of you, obviously. So whenever you have, like, a small amount of energy left over for traveling, they'll give you, like, a cool event. Like, it'll be like, oh, there's a plane crash over here and you don't have enough energy. So essentially, they, what they want you to do is to buy coins to get to that area. So, you know, it's, you know, it's a, it's a mobile game. That's how they make their money. The Horde is showing up here in 7 hours and 20 minutes, so I don't think we'll be able to see it today unless I record for 8 hours today, which... It's not gonna happen, guys. I'm sorry. I can't do 8-hour recordings. That's ridiculous. That would be like a full-time job for me. And this is not a full-time job for me. So... Obviously, we need a ton of wood, but we also need steel. So let's go over here and mine for some steel. And... In the interest of, you know, not being here for 12 minutes waiting, let's go ahead and run over here. What I think I'll be doing here today is I will record this video. I'll take a break, let the energy come back, and do a video after maybe another video of some other thing. I don't know. I have a lot of stuff playing at the moment, and so there's never nothing I don't have time to record here. So let's see. This was a, a really... I'm not sure if this was a really cool episode for me. I, I wanted to make a lot of more stuff for us, but unfortunately, the limitations of the ATV thing and the chopper really kind of set us back. So I was, I really had high hopes for this video, thinking we didn't get a lot of cool stuff built. But at least we got some stuff built now, which is fine. How you doing there, Grey Wolf? Huh? You wanna play? My weapon broke, that's cool. I prepared for that. Get the machete over here. Um, I guess I'll take you for now, but I really don't need you. I'm over here coming for the big ol' resources. Although we're about to get up to level 19, which would be great. I'm not sure what- I don't think that unlocks anything. I think the next new unlock show up at 22, because I'm at 18 at the moment. Um, I would like to get into a fight with one of the... ...stronger Zambros. I'm not sure if I could do this just yet, but I want to fight that fat zombie we saw last video around. I would love to fight him, but... I think I might need the gun for that. Cause just because it seems like he'll hit like a ton of bricks on me. But we do have like three guns back home if I'm right. So let's grab this here. Iron ore. And we didn't need a lot of that to make those steel. I can't believe the ATV requires the steel flooring. That's so silly to me, man. That is just so silly to me. Who's coming over here? Roaming zombie? It's alright, buddy. No head for you. No head for you. <laughs> oh, look at that. Making them heads roll. What about you, huh? You want to meet them too? Oh, dude, take his head off. It could have been like a trifecta right now. Okay. Let's get some more iron ore here. No, oh, we level up. Cool. So let's see what we got here unlocked. I don't think we unlocked anything, but we have one point now. The problem is that most of these items here now require two points. So the next thing I want to grab 
the chest would be nice because it means like a bigger, bigger, more room for me to store items. But honestly, I think we might grab the doormat. Apparently, whenever if I have the doormat, whenever I come back to my house, I show up in my house as opposed to like outside in the edge of the map, is what you guys told me. So I guess that could be kind of useful sometimes. Let's grab berries. The gr berries, I rarely collect them to make tea. I just use them in the map to heal on the fly. Take the head off, dude. Just take the head off. That's what we're waiting for here. And what's in the old bag? What do you got from here, bag? Okay, that, that's actually not too bad, especially because we're going to need boats. Now, I have seen Bunker Beta. I know where that's at. I have guns. Oh, the deer ran off. I have guns, and I do have some leftover decent equipment back home from one of our raids earlier. So I might go to the Bunker Beta next video. Just to try something different. I might die. But even if I die, it's not the end of the world. I'll just make sure I don't have, like, really important items on me. And if I die, then so be it. Essentially, when you die, all you do is lose whatever's on your body. But if you come back fast, you could actually still find your body and pick up everything that you dropped. So, you know, it's happened to me a couple of times that I've been farming off camera. So it's not the end of the world even if you die and, like, drop your items. Just make sure you don't have anything really important on you, because then that's going to be kind of really bad if you come back and your body's no longer there anymore. So let's see what's in this bag here. Come on. Come on. Mmm. Eh. I have you now. I, I, I feel like I have plenty of these back home. You are important, though. You're important. And I might as well just drink you. Eh, I don't think I need you at the moment, so I'm going to leave you there behind. Because I need to do some more farming anyway. Yeah. And what do we have here? Fast biter. Okay. That's a bit better. Where's your fat friend at, though, huh? I'm not going to check his body out. He probably has, like, fabric or something, but I think I have enough fabric back home. Come here, Zambro. Where's your stronger friends at, huh? No, that's not a stronger friend. Going down. Going down! Yeah! I love when you run into, like, back-to-back. -back. It's really fun. All right, so now we got to be Paul Bunyan again. Paul Bunyan knocking down a tree. Let's grab some more berries for healing. And I think that's about it when it comes to the Zambros. I'm seeing no more iron ore either. So at this point, my axe is about to break, or my machete, really. I like the machete a lot. It's very strong, as you can see, but I've noticed the durability on him is actually very low because it's a decent weapon. Like, the shitty weapons have, like, amazing durability, but the good ones are kind of like, ah, let's just have it break really fast, so the player isn't really too strong at all times here. That'll be that. Okay. So I do believe, guys, we are out of time with this video. I'm going to continue doing my farming over here. We'll come back next episode. Let me sneak up on this stupid deer. Hold up. Shh. Keep it down. Stupid deer! <laughs> oh my god, I hit him so hard, my machete broke. Well, I don't think that's how it played out, but that's what it looks like. I hit that deer so hard, it broke my machete. Good god. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, Bambi's mom. Anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll come back next episode, and I think we might do Bunker Beta. I'll prepare for it. I will catch you next time.